Can I... <coughs> I just say... Probably not. <laughs> Can I just say... That is catastrophic noise. <laughs> oh, by the I way, Christine Scott Thomas has been in touch, and she invited just you to a karaoke night. Just you. <laughs> it's tonight. But she has said she can really go for a man who can sing. Really. So, you know, mm. big, loud voice. Doesn't have to be tuneful. Just belt it out loud. Some can Tom I, Jones numbers. Could I do Will Young? Do you love you there? <coughs> can you what? Do Will Young? <laughs> I'd quite like to operate on his eye, wouldn't you? Because I think if you go to hospitals to have something done, there'll be strangers. It's kind of antiseptic and impersonal. Mm. Whereas if we do it, if it's done by your mates. mate, with friendship, we can, we can do it for you with friendship and a spoon. Yeah. Cut it off. <laughs> and you'll be, you'll be grateful. I tell you what, instead of hurling abuse at each other, why, <coughs> excuse me, why don't we do the news? Yes, let's do the news. Yes. Car news. Yes. We can do some, well. They're all nodding. <laughs> you said what? I've just noticed that I started winking at millions of people. And it's, 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 it's a bit in my eye. God. Millions of people Great. are doing this, James, trust me. Look. Right, let's get on with the proper news, and we start with uh, roadside news. You see, Little Chef have decided to get Heston Blumenthal in to revamp the famous Olympic breakfast, which is very popular, but perceived as rather unhealthy. So what's he done to it? What he's done is drizzled it with extra words. So you see, in the, no, he has. In the old, Olympic, uh, the old Olympic breakfast, you used to get British pork sausage. You now get outdoor reared British pork sausage. You used to get... Um, Sorry, can I just say, outdoor reared sausage? Yes. Keeps pigs in their house. Well, quite. Apart from Richard, obviously. <laughs> you do have a horse in your house. On occasion, it has it's been. It's an indoor known. reared horse. It has been, no. So you used to get two rashes of back bacon, but now you're going to get two rashes of Wiltshire cured back bacon. And you used to just get mushrooms, but now you get... <laughs> you used to... <laughs> you used to get mushrooms... Do you know you when get... you really screw your eyes up to laugh like that? Good. Something comes out of your eye infection. <laughs> and if it's you get it on me, I'll kill you. Look at it. God, it's, it is <laughs> like sharing a sofa it. with a leper. <laughs> is it leprosy? Just tell me straight. <laughs> is it? Because if it, it is, is... It's just an eye infection. Look. <laughs> Hear no evil, see no evil. <laughs> Honest, it, <coughs> you sound like a broken gate creaking in the wind. You're rotting in front so of go, me. What do they call these mushrooms, James? Mushrooms I'm not hungry now, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> mushrooms have become roasted field mushrooms. I ate food ponsery. Can I just say, okay, you know Aston Martin laid off 600 people this week. Why didn't they just change the name of the DB9 to an organic, free-range Oxfordshire DB9? And then we all would have bought one. Well, anything sells better if you give it a county in its name. It's no, no, it doesn't. Depends which county you're talking about. I'm not going to buy a Jaguar West Midlands. <laughs> no, I'm trying to... <laughs> yeah, some counties have more glamour than others. I'm not going to buy a Nissan Powys. No, oh, it's got to be the right county. Or anything from Norfolk. <laughs> it's from Norfolk. So that was, again, just dogs could hear that bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is temporary. That, on the other hand. I suspect it's going to get bigger and bigger until... Yeah, all right. He it told might... me earlier on that he's worried if he does go to the doctors with it, they might cut off the wrong bit, throw him away, <laughs> and send him to the... you know, come back. Well, we need to... I think it could be the size of a cauliflower this time next week. Tune in. Wow, what if it, if it gets big enough to have to dress it with clothes? <laughs> it won't be an eye patch, it'll be an eye box you'll be wearing next week. <laughs> the big eye bag. Shh. Oh, just, just a good one result. point, your buttons have come undone on your shirt and it's distracting me quite badly. They're really happy. I was just out of the corner of my eye, I could just see two breasts. <laughs> You're not that ill then, are you? Yeah, no, I'm not ill. That's the ridiculous thing. I'm not ill at all. I'm in good, good form, good Have shape. Look. Oh, never mind, you've lost your... Oh, James can't see. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Hey, one of them. Don't hang that great postulous thing over me. He's just given your breasts leprosy. <laughs> ah. OK, you two. Who is the best motorcyclist of all time? Um, um, Rossi, probably. Uh, Mike Halewood. Mike Halewood. You're both wrong. In fact, the greatest motorcyclist who ever lived is an Indian chap that I found on the internet this week. Just have a look at this. Here he is, riding along, OK? <laughs> You're probably thinking, well, what's so great? Ready? Look at this. He's, he's, he's texting. And he's lying down. How's, 
How's he making the throttle work? Because I thought if his foot was on the bars, he could see How's he doing that? <laughs> That's astonishing. I mean, I, the, the thing I've got to ask you, OK, what if there's an emergency, and this being India is likely to be one about here, how does he break? Well, I don't know, because he's nowhere near any of the things he needs to be near, like his brakes and clutches. He'll have to get back on the bike first and uh, then enjoy his crash. Well, that's, well done, you. That's that's, you know I've got that old Motor Guzzi, which I think is sort of cool and laid back yeah. in old California. It's like sitting in church compared with that bloke. I know. That is the best bit of motorcycling I've ever seen. Stop that's looking at my eyeball. <coughs> I can't see anything else when I look in that direction. Well, how much do you think I can see out of this bloke? Well, very thing? little. You can't see this. You're right, I can't. See this thing. <laughs> is it weeping stuff, or have you had it varnished so it's all nice and shiny? Listen, Hammond, can I just get it back on track? I know it's distracting. It's distracting! And you're sitting it's, it's next to him. He's got a space hopper stuck to his eye. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> Do you want me to use a little No, don't this? touch anything I've got! Oh, God, no! I could just rinse off the bit of makeup that's covering your huge spot, Hammond. <laughs> oh, that's true. I had forgotten about he that. I too have leprosy. He's got a whopper. Yeah, it's massive. It's I got too have opinion. leprosy. Actually, if I'm honest, there. Can we just forget yeah. our illnesses? Nobody's interested. <laughs> so no, but that's got makeup on it. I'm just joining what in with the leprosy thing. What we're not seeing is the thing. pulsating redness of it. It's a supernumerary head. I think it winked. Actually, at me I think wrong. it's a supernumerary penis, and it's going to sprout out of you <laughs> in another one. That could be all But it'll be OK. It's the same size as that there one. There you no go. One. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, look. This is the Citroen Hypnos. It's an experimental car. And the interesting thing is it's fitted with a camera inside on the roof, which looks at your face. It reads your emotions, they say, and then it adjusts the cabin lighting and fragrance accordingly. <laughs> So it changes the smell according to your mood or and, what it's... And the lighting. Yes, and the lighting. What does angry smell like? <laughs> do you do that? What does scared smell like? I know what it smells like. <laughs> How do you represent regret with cabin lighting? In <laughs> they, they haven't actually worked out. A wistful out. sense of loneliness. This car <laughs> smells funny. I know I was displeased with my postman this morning. <laughs> The French have gone mad, haven't they? Yeah, they haven't actually worked out the details, but that's what they say it will do. I think it would be better if it was sort of wired into the stereo system, so if your wife left it, it could play Phil Collins. That would be better. I can't sing I any Phil Collins say, songs before you... I can't remember any. And I'm not going it. to sing you if you leave me now. That's Chicago, actually. Yeah. I'll take away the biggest... Why am I saying this to you? <laughs> I don't want to say this to you. I've been working with these... James, no, look, you've got brochure news. I have got brochure news, consumer news, something we're often criticised for not doing on Top Gear. This is the brochure for the uh, BMW 3 Series. Now, there's a range of options on this car. There are 13 colours, there are 8 or 9 interior trim colours, and there are 5 different finishes for the wood on the dashboard. So BMW have helpfully made one of those charts that show you what you can have with what, putting a little black blob, do you know what I mean, next to the things you can have. And here is the chart. There you are. <laughs> well, hang on. That's, it's uh, just going to blow, but you can have, every, just, have anything, they should have that, just said. That's just a waste of paper. Yeah, exactly. You're wrong, you see. Look! There! No blob! <laughs> they've, oh, done, they've done that whole page just to tell you you can't have... What's that, then? Well, that means, if you are thinking of buying a 3 Series, you cannot have beige vertex upholstery with any colour and burr walnut wood. See, that's just fascism, isn't it? Yeah, it it is, really. It'll take you a while to spot the one missing blob the one in a missing BMW thing. Did it? I wish you'd um, been there when you did that. I did that after I calculated how many revs my uh, portion. Just to share that search. Is I there? Think, is there? I think they did that page, realised that everything was available with everything, and thought, that's embarrassing, so they deliberately took one out to make the page look relevant. Uh, I bet if you go in and ask Is that why they deliberately it, lost the war? Probably, yeah. <laughs> I bet if you go in and ask for it... You can have it. Right, now listen, <laughs> you know the government has pledged to halve the amount of carbon dioxide that we all make, by, well, within the next 17 years, OK? Now, there's this woman on the Climate Change Committee, which is a sort of government thing. She says that we've all, basically, all of us, including you with your Peugeot 406, have got to buy an electric vehicle. And she says these electric vehicles are going to run on novel batteries charged by carbon-free electricity that we shall somehow make without harming any fluffy polar bears or anything. What does she mean by novel batteries? Novel. Well, obviously, she has no idea how these batteries will actually work. 
um, other than the fact they're going to be running on magic and made in the forest by <laughs> oblins. <laughs> So she hasn't really worked out the details of this, has no. she? She's sort of worked for Citroen. No, is that... Is she good-looking? Sure. Is she what? Good-looking. Uh, I have actually got a picture of her here. Are you ready? Well, <laughs> ma maybe she's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Rich. Really dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Not enough? This is the woman that's going to ruin your life. <laughs> maybe she's all of those things. I would rather <laughs> see it hey, in the this. <laughs> I'm going to need someone to spit in my mouth. Could you do it? I can. It's not going to be spit. No, as just such. Spit. <laughs> <laughs> do you want to do this for the movie? Oh yes, no. I'm sorry. There is can no I just, more. Can I just? Can I just mention <laughs> while you're topping up on somebody else's spit? Yes. Um, the Catalonia racetrack near Barcelona. Mm. They have finally decided, they're now permitting, and I'm quoting here, um, hey, see, they're finally permitted human ra remains to be scattered on the track. You can scatter human remains all over. So presumably that means really bad racing crashes are now allowed for the first no, time. No, Richard, I think it means after you're dead, if you're a fan of the track, you can be, you know, oh. scattered on it. Oh, I see, yeah. Although that said, do you have to be cremated? Or you could just go down there and be part of the tyre wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. I'd quite like to just... <laughs> I think what they mean is that when somebody's dead, you can scatter their ashes mm. on their favourite bit of the track. God, no, that'd be lethal. Because it'd be, oh, he's in the lead, he's in the lead. Oh, no, he's skidded off on a bit of Frank Dobson from Batley and he's in the... <laughs> what, the former health minister? Yeah. You're suggesting the former health ministers... Would be London Mayor contender is going to be yeah. scattered on the... It was the first name that came to mind. That's fantastic. <laughs> I think it's a good idea. Well, if there's a really bad oil spill on one of the corners, they could just so soak, it up with, <laughs> soak it up with Frankie Howard, I was going to say. It's what he would have wanted. <laughs> Frankie Howard? Where are these yeah. names coming from? You've both gone mad. I've had this idea, though. Honestly, I was thinking about this just the other day. When I die, OK, I want them to put my body in Peter Mandelson's front room. Just to be annoying. <laughs> it, I think it would annoy him, because I bet he's got a really minimalist house. Just to have you there, <laughs> rotting. <laughs> not, not preserved or anything, then. No, just and all not... his friends come back and they'd say, what's that, it's Jamie Clarks, and he's rotting. <laughs> not mummified, just rotting. No, just left, literally. But well, he's made a start liquefied. on that already, look, he's already... <laughs> Shall we do a bit more? No, I tell you what, we're going to stop doing the news now.